The power sector requires strategic infrastructure that represents a most important requirement for moving the economy forward. It's a known fact that the epileptic power supply makes Nigeria one of the countries with high cost of doing business. In Asaba, the Delta State capital, there's a cluster of small businesses where entrepreneurs and other businesses resort to self-help by generating their own power. The usual noise emanating from generating sets is a clear indicator of what business owners here go through on a daily basis. They speak on how the situation is affecting their businesses. We they use pumper. We not get light. The noise, the the carbon that the generators are bringing out, which is the smoke, it's hard to compared to you know. There's no space here. Everywhere is so occupied. You see cars around. Uh, for you to have a space where there will be a free air, there is none. For some others, it's a case of total blackout. No, we don't. We don't see customer. That's why I just. I just been in shop now, observing, because there's no light now. Eat, and the heat is too much. In order to address the situation, the Delta State Government has partnered with a private firm for alternative source of power supply at very minimal cost. So you're all welcome to the meeting. At a forum to unveil the alternative source of power in Delta State, the Commissioner for Energy asked the people to key into the program in order to reduce the cost of doing business. Yes, a very very important. If the people have an alternate scheme, it's uh, the most important thing about why the governor goes into it is it has a, it has a various uh, categories. Those who are at the lowest rung of society can see access it and afford the one that they can afford. In line with the smart and strong adult agenda, the state government believes this will help ameliorate the electricity challenges faced by the people and also complement the efforts of the state government in the provision of power to Deltans.